this is Alan Darman again and for this portion of the video uh, regarding uh, uh, talking about what my son and I use Willie's bag to, to overcome uh, ADHD and bipolar symptoms we're going to be talking about the vitamin and mineral portion of uh, his baggie and, uh, and I've got uh, and I've got uh, one supplement I talked about prior that I put here as well because I want to make a connection that's important. But uh, when I started Willie on baggies, I actually started him uh, by using uh, these four. Uh, there's four bottles over here: calcium, magnesium, citrate is uh, in two of the bottles, and you can go. You know, there's two different brands. Ones. Uh, I'll just hold it up for you. One is Solaray and Calmag Citrate. And this one is from the health food store in Syracuse. I got a lot of things. This is uh they're they're equivalent to that and it's just a little cheaper. And, yeah. and his basic multivitamin, multimineral that I used in Willie's baggie up for him up until roughly two months ago. I mean he's used this uh, extensively for four years is ultra source of life and it's just a common vitamin you can buy in most health food stores it's uh, you know everything here is definitely cheaper off the internet and, you know this particular bottle comes from my herb and uh, saved me some money uh, and this is uh, opti zinc I add a little zinc uh, you know because I felt there was not enough zinc in the source of life vitamin for uh, Willie's needs and in regard to the calcium and magnesium, uh, I knew his needs were greater as well. Uh, I also knew that you, you know you couldn't put a whole dose of calcium and magnesium. It's just uh, you know minerals do compete for absorption somewhat, and you know. But I wanted to add a little, and I was actually copying uh, the wisdom of uh, uh, another supplement uh, supplier on this and another uh, you know a supplement for bipolar I was putting a little bit of calcium magnesium on top of what the source of life uh, vitamin had you have to understand that when they make multivitamins multiminerals they can't put enough of certain things you know you the, 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 that your need you know it would be just too many tablets so they take out some of the bulk minerals and the three bulk minerals in the body you know, our uh, calcium, magnesium, and zinc are, you know, some of the macro minerals that you need more of than the little tiny minerals. And they, and they don't put in 100%, and, and, and to a certain extent they do it for a reason. If you had too much calcium, magnesium in a, in, in a, in a supplement, you might have a problem, you know, absorbing uh, like zinc and manganese and molybdenum and all the little minerals that you need as well. So I just, you know... I, I I added a little, but not too much. Is really kind of what I tried to do here. And, and uh, in a bag, I, I you know the the particular bottle here says uh, uh, six vegetarian capsules. I would put two or three in a bag. And there's your you know your RDA and, and how much there is. And I you know I'd put a couple. I wasn't going a hundred percent RDA. I was going half or a third of. Uh, uh, RDA in a, in, a, in a baggie on calcium and magnesium and I don't like the oxide that they say their oxide is the least absorbable form of mag you know of magnesium but you know it's the best I could do in this particular bottle the magnesium is is citrate is, is a better form uh, you know so it's it's actually a little you know, more more magnesium is going to get in you from using these than the other one. The zinc, this particular bottle is 30 milligrams. Uh, in in Willie, uh, I shot for anywhere between 60 and 80 milligrams a day of zinc, and and there was a reason for this. Willie had his mineral profile tested in. Uh, September 1997. He was very high copper. His copper bar was, you know almost off the charts and very low zinc and uh, copper and zinc act in a teeter-totter relationship a seesaw relationship in the body when you're when you're high copper it tends to depress your zinc level and when you're when you're high zinc it tends to depress your copper level and you know if you're high zinc you want to take some copper and you know and get them in balance and if you're high 
copper, you want to take a lot of zinc to bring your copper level down and get them in balance again. And, you know, balance between uh, certain minerals is important. So I was shooting for, you know, 60, 80 milligrams a day with Willie, and, and, and still now, th that's, I, you know, I consider that uh, his need. So I put two of these on top of the 15 milligrams that would be in. This is uh, his multivitamin in regard to zinc. It's only got 15 milligrams in a, in, a, in a serving of three capsules. So 30 and 30 is uh, 60, and 15 is uh, 75. And sometimes I would get 50 milligram capsules of uh, zinc, and it would be 65, but, you know, that was the general range. And some of my wisdom on minerals and, and, and supplements came from... Uh, this company and a, and, a, and, a, and a related company, Equilib, uh, makes a vitamin mineral supplement for bipolar disorder. They're also or were associated uh, for a number of years with a company called True Hope, www.truehope.com, and and they originally developed the, the uh, this formula, but in and Equilib was their manufacturer. And then eventually they split up, and both of them are offering a very similar supplement on the market today. And on their list of ingredients, and let's see if we can get this to focus, they're using six capsules a day, and, and their full loading dose, you know, to, to treat deficiency, they're, they're dosing four times a day, so every amount reflected here would be quadruple. And then a maintenance dose, they're using 12 capsules a day, roughly, and every amount here would be double. So in relation to, let's say, the calcium, uh, the, the uh, copper and zinc situation I was talking about, six capsules here was 20 milligrams of zinc. And if you dosed four times a day, that would be 80 milligrams. If you dosed twice a day, that would be 40 milligrams of zinc, just to give you an idea. The copper in here is 1.5 milligrams. The RDA for copper is 2 milligrams. Uh, four doses a day, you know, to treat deficiency would be 6 milligrams of copper. And two doses a day would be 3 milligrams of copper. But I didn't want Willie to get, you know, 3 milligrams or 6 milligrams of copper because his copper was so high. For, so for a couple of years... I opted to go and, and use uh, this approach with Source of Life and the added minerals because, and I did it for a reason, again, in regard to copper, there's very little here, there's only half a milligram, so Willie was only getting a half a milligram of copper in supplement form up until a couple of months ago, and he was getting, uh, you know, anywhere between 60 and 80 milligrams of zinc, so over a period of time, and again, I don't have lab tests to prove this, but over a period of time, you know, the, the knowledge that I, you know, have learned, I, I know I've corrected, or at least somewhat, or if not overcorrected, I, you know, I've corrected for his his copper and zinc uh, situation. But now that I've done that, and and I wanted Willie, you know, it's not a bad idea when you're making up bags, try one. Uh, multivitamin and use it for a month or two and then you know if you find another one on the net that you think is better you know switch you know because sometimes you know uh, one multivitamin mineral preparation is going to cover some nutrient deficiency better than another so you know again this baggie is is a conceptual approach but you know the details can be changed by anyone you can you know just use your brain and uh, a little common sense, a little knowledge to, you know, make adjustments.